I was trying to work out once how many hours there is in a week, like how many spare hours there is. You have 168 hours in a week. Every week you get 168 hours. Every week. Um, every week you get seven days and each of those days has 24 hours, which is 168 hours. Every week, 168 hours. Um, and I worked a full-time job, so that's 40 hours. So that, that means then there's still 128 hours left, which is a lot of hours really, 128 hours. So let's say if I slept for seven hours every night, Seven times seven, forty-nine. Um, and let's say if every day I did something to do with food for two hours, cooking, eating, whatever, I'd be over fourteen hours gone. And I do a lot of driving, I do a lot of driving to go and see my boyfriend, um, to go to work, all of that sort of stuff. So let's say if I drove for three or four hours a day. Um, so we'll call that we'll call that twenty four hours a week car related or travel related. Twenty four hours travel. <laughs> so anyway you have hundred and sixty eight hours in a week. So after after working for 40 hours, after sleeping for 49 hours, after eating and so forth for 14 hours, after driving for 24 hours, I still have 41 hours left in a week unaccounted for, which is enough really to fit in another full-time job. It doesn't really work out that way because for one thing, I don't really want to do two full-time jobs. <laughs> That sounds like a lot of hard work. But also, those hours aren't consecutive. Um, the spare, the spare 41 hours in my week aren't right next to each other. But it does seem to me, if I do the math, at the end of the week, I do have quite a few hours spare in which I choose what happens.